गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूवर्स गुड मॉर्निंग रिसर्च कलर्स दिस फ्लो चार्ट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग द रिपोर्ट्स दिस इज द पार्ट वन फॉर द फ्लो चार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग दिस डायग्राम आई विल शो यू इन द वर्ल्ड आउट टू ड्रॉ इट मैं नमिज नवीन कुमार एम एसिस्टम एडमिन यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग उस्मान सिटी हैदराबाद दिस इज माई फोन नंबर एंड ई मेल आई डी माई सेल्फ विद डी एन रेडी डी एन प्रोसेस डी एन रेडी फॉर ड्राइंग द फ्लोर चार्ट वी हैव द डिफरेंट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स बिफोर ड्राइंग द फ्लोर चार्ट वी हैव टू टेक ए वन रेफरेंस लाइन इन द सेंटर टू द सेंटर ऑफ द फ्लो चार्ट ड्राइंग द बॉक्सेस फॉर ईच ड्राइंग द बॉक्सेस फॉर ईच बॉक्स देर इज अ सेंटर पॉइंट adjust to the reference line so you pause this one and you read the points practically i will explain all these points by taking the word file before that see one command is there very important you have to send using send back send them back and bring them forward adjust the arrows and the boxes to the reference line this is very important see this this what you call it this square is upon the tri upon triangle square circle is circle is front side back side is triangle and back is a rectangle how to send this triangle back and how to bring forward this is a sending and bringing forward i will explain in the word i am taking one new file see this is new file insert shapes there are these different shapes using this different shapes we are having flow charts flow charts they are here we are having different types of flow chart commands and using the arrows lines we have to draw the draw the flow chart i will explain about is sending back and bring, bringing forward now see i am clicking this one and i am using the circle and one triangle for our explanation see i am making this color and this color i am changing the different colors so if i want to send this this gray in a rectangle to back to the back to this both just double click and this here is a command bring front send back if you click this one automatically the the gray rectangle is sending back the control z for undo if i want to bring this uh, this what is called circle to front side click on this one and bring bring for front see automatically it brings front see this is this is back side this rectangle is in between so if i want to bring send this triangle to back send back like this sending back and bringing forward why i am explaining this means see i am controlling z, z. if i want to draw a box flow charts copy pasting you press control key and hold it and you drag it okay if i want a line in between generally people will do like this generally people adjust the line like this but i can also i can also do like this i am taking one reference line and making like this just hold this line double click this line and send back this is also same meaning of this one both are same if i want to give a arrow in between see i can give this like this lengthy arrow and copy paste just hold these boxes hold these boxes and bring forward bring front so that the lines may go back side this is the method to method of drawing the flow charts okay now we like i will explain how to draw the how to draw the flow charts first to give the border lines this is very good habit to make a border lines so that this is our page see the scale is like this this is like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 so center point is 3 you make one reference line you make one line here at 3 if it is straight or not we can identify double click this one you 0.06 make it as a 0 so that it will be 
and you increase this one automatically the length will be going up and you make the line thick line color as a blue and you can make the line thickness only for this is a reference line to draw our flowchart see I am taking one box and giving like this you make this first dotted in between dotted line to center and the second box like this you make for the reference line it comes to the reference line I am taking conditionals some conditionals like this you make it as a make it to the center center to the line like this you make it to the dotted line to the center okay now you take the arrows I am taking arrows you make it to the line and you copy paste it the arrows are upon the boxes don't worry we will send it back copy paste it put on the reference now you remove the reference line reference and label you can select these boxes all the boxes shift to plus shift to plus selection will select all the boxes and you come to the forward and you can bring them forward bring them forward means automatically the lines will be going back side this like this you have to give the like this you have to give the sending the lines back side or else you can for example I am doing control Z control Z see now the line now the if I want to send this line back side select this lines select first one and press shift key and select second one shift key plus third one you can, now you have to send this arrows back side format send back automatically it goes to the back side with the reference line you have to adjust the things directly this like this you have to draw the flowchart and la at last you give you select from the home select you give the selection objection if it is selected or not, not we can identify if it is a color is like this now it is in selection mode you come outside edge of the edge of the paper and you drag it like this drag it like this so that all the lines is selected why because each box is a different different box and lines are there now you have to group it select all the boxes and right click on the right click on the box any one box and you group it see now it is a single object now it is a single object single diagram but at last now grouping is the not the final at last you select the box uh, select the diagram and go to the format text wrapping you give the inline with text this is the final inline with text if you don't give the inline with text what happened means the image will come upon the text example I will explain you if it is like this I have, I have given undo see it is in 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 front of the text now so if I copy some data for example I am taking from the help command some text this is my text I am copy pasting in the first place second place see this is my text if I drag it see it is coming upon the text see this if it is coming upon the text. why means it is in in front of the text you select this one and click on the inline with text so automatically it moves the text to the next or you cut it and paste in between you can paste it in between and you after that you make it as a center this is the thing like this you have to draw the flow charts flow charts whatever the CAD people we have given some homeworks no how to after BE you make the diagram like this you make the borders and you complete the complete the flow chart thank you thank you very much for watching